Waist beads are actually not supposed to be seen to the public eye. This is a video that I've been thinking about sharing for a while, but then I always stop myself because I'm like, I know that a lot of people, a lot of women wear waist beads to reconnect with their African ancestry. And so I don't want to like discourage or embarrass anyone. But yesterday something happened with my grandmother that really, really pushed me to want to make this video. So I'm not making this video to shame anyone that wears waist beads outside of their pants. I'm here to more so educate you on West African culture, specifically Ghanaian Asante culture, where waist beads are very, 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 very popular. So what happened yesterday is I was chilling in my bed. And so usually when I'm chilling in my bed, like my waist beads come out of my pants. And by the way, for a Ghanaian girl, I can't speak for the whole of West Africa, but I, I can speak for Ghana. For most girls, waist beads are put on you from when you are a baby. So before you can even remember that you've had waist beads, you've had waist beads, right? Um, most women and girls wear waist beads. It's just something that we grew up on. Um, I remember my grandmother tying on my waist beads at a certain point, then my mom, and then I started tying them on myself. So yeah, as a Ghanaian girl, whether you're in Ghana or America or Europe or wherever, you're most likely going to wear waist beads, at least for your childhood. And we're always taught that your waist beads are not supposed to be shown. And they don't necessarily tell you why, but it's a big thing like if you're walking around your house like if i'm walking around my house right now as i was saying what i was going to say is that i was relaxing in my bed and my waist beads came out of my shorts now i know that i should not walk around my house with my waist beads out because my grandmother if she sees me with my waist beads out she will literally like put them in for me <laughs> so that's what happened yesterday my grandmother saw me with my waist beads out and she was like why do you have your waist beads out um they're not supposed to be out like that you know that and i'm like yeah which is a step because usually she would have just like used her hands to like literally put them in for me so i was like yeah i was just in bed and i was like relaxing and then it just came out so it's not intentional and she was like you know today i saw a woman and she had her waist beads so high and it was outside of her pants and i was asking her um like why she's doing that and like <laughs> why like does she know the meaning of that and the woman told her no i'm just doing it because like you know i see people do it so i see people tie it this way and so i do it this way and my grandma was like no they shouldn't actually be outside of your pants like they're not it's equivalent to wearing an underwear so you're not really supposed to show them and the woman was like, oh, okay, well, I didn't know. And so we had this conversation and I was telling her, yes, you know, there's a lot of black women that don't have direct African ethnicity, but are wanting to reconnect with their African ancestry. And so they're wearing waist beads, but it's a thing now to wear it outside and above your belly button. And she was like, no, no, no. <laughs> she was like, what? No, like no this is something equivalent to your underwear this is something that should not be shown like no this is something that only should be visible in your bedroom when you're naked or when you're with your husband like this is not something that's supposed to just be out and open and i was telling her well people don't know that you know and so when i see women that have their waist beads out I just don't want to I, like I don't know what to say you know and I know people follow me and I have friends that literally do this so I'm not making this video to like bash anyone or like embarrass anyone I just wanted to share that um culturally waist beads are not supposed to be visible to the public eye your waist beads are supposed to be tied low and they're supposed to be only visible when you're naked or when you're around other women for example if you go to ghana you would think that no one has waist beads on because you don't see it but according to my grandmother not me according to my grandmother most women and girls most she said all women and girls should be wearing waist beads but most women and girls are wearing waist beads but it's just not visible and so you would think that they're not wearing it and she was like actually if you wear your waist beads on top of your clothes people start to think that you are in going insane like you're going mad or that you're very promiscuous and fast 
and so it has that connotation so if any of you guys travel to west africa or ghana specifically and you have waist beads please wear them inside your clothes because if people see you do that for one they're gonna know you're not from here and if you look like you could be a ghanian they're going to assume bad things about you <laughs> so some of the reasons why west african women or specifically ghanian women wear waist beads it, according to my grandmother is because for one they didn't really use tape measures back in the day so waist beads would be a good marker of how you're growing if they're getting tighter you're getting you're gaining weight if they're getting looser and they're falling lower you're losing weight also she did mention that they would put it on various parts of the body around your knees around your arms and other places to shape your body as you're growing up as a girl she also did mention that baby boys get waist beads put on them as well like well especially back in the day because they didn't use diapers and they used cloths instead of diapers and so they would use the waist beads to help tie the cloth on as like a diaper she also did mention that it's for decoration to decorate your body as a woman um it's something that only your husband should see and so this is what she was telling me and so <laughs> i've been postponing making this video for like years now but yeah so yeah every day i learn more about my ghanian asante culture and so because i know a lot of people are wanting to reconnect with africa and reconnect with their african ancestry i do think that it's important that we honor why our ancestors did things how they did them even if you're not gonna do it i think that it's good to know okay this is why this was done and this is how it was supposed to be done even if you decide that you're gonna do whatever you want to do and it can be difficult like personally I don't intentionally pull my waist beads out however some of the clothes that I wear are low cut and then my waist beads come out or like if you're at the beach and you have a bikini on like your waist beads are going to be out however they're not supposed to intentionally be put out you know what I mean like if they're showing you know but if you're intentionally tying them to be shown it's not that it's disrespectful it's more so that you doing that has a meaning and as i was saying they see it as you are like crazy like you're losing your mind or that you're just promiscuous and you're fast and you sleep with a lot of people 